Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's Friday and it's a special day, isn't it, Stella? Yes, it is, and we know what it is. Everybody loves holidays. Yes, we do. I mean, we have Christmas, we love Christmas. Any excuse to celebrate is my yeah. motto. And especially the holidays where we get to wear costumes. We like those <laughs> the best. But today's, today, well, I guess we could have worn a costume for today. Well, kind of, sort of. Today is National Martini, Martini Day. Day. So happy National Martini Day. Happy day. And we are trying out a brand new uh, martini. We don't we don't give these test runs. We just we just go with it and see how it works. Go with the flow. That's our go with line. the flow. Some of these I've made before. When you see these videos, our elderberry one was on the run, and Pike's Pantry has liked that because they've used that on their site and everything. Good, good. But this one today is a new one. So you know I've done the very infused vodka before, yes. and that's worked out well. So a few weeks ago, somebody gave me off their tree, my friend Jerry gave us some um, apricots. And the first couple I had were fabulous. And then the next ones I ate were bitter as hell. Oh my God, they were awful. I, I mean, you couldn't even like bleh. And yeah, and they were really ripe. So I thought, well, we'll see what happens if I infuse vodka with this apricot. So we'll see. Now when I, when I infuse, I'm gonna actually taste a little taste this. When I infuse the, um, Berries, that vodka gets so smooth. I'm not a straight booze drinker, but I could drink the berry infused vodka uh -huh. and think it's it's like totally like a, a thing with juice. Let's see if this has any. <laughs> I'm not sure about I hope that. neither one of us has, has COVID because we are retiring together. Yeah, it's not great, is it? But it's no. got a little flavor, so it won't hurt anything. There's no downside to it, it'll be fine. Okay. So we're going to use this apricot infused you vodka. See how much I love you. I drink out of the same glass. Am I stupid or what? Or what? Or what? You know, there's days where I, back in the day, I, there would be other things that I'm afraid you'd catch before you'd catch COVID from me now. I'm just saying. Stop. From you, not from I'm just, me. I'm just saying. So anyway, um, we're going to try this. Speak for yourself, girl. <laughs> we're going to try this apricot infused vodka anyway. Now, Stella had a great idea, yes. but I, I couldn't implement it when she got here. She said peach schnapps would have been great. And that's something you could add to this for sure. But we don't have it. And you know, we have the rule. It goes on now. You guys have heard it. Right. But you know what? It's getting store. old. Because <laughs> she goes to the grocery store all the time. I do, but not that. I try not to go for one or two things. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a little bit of this um, apricot infused vodka. It gives it a little flavor, I hope. And I hope it's going to be pretty good. And then, you know, I measure very carefully. So what I tell people is I make my martinis weak, as you know, and you can make them as strong as you want. It's your house. You can do whatever the hell you want, right? Right. So we're going to take, I got some country peach juice. Actually, my neighbor nicely picked it up for me when she went to Trader Joe's, and it's from Trader Joe's. And this is really good juice. I have used this in the past. So I usually do about one part vodka to about one part of the juice. But if you were at a bar, it's like almost all vodka and hardly any juice. But that's not how we like them. Nope. When I drank your one a couple weeks ago, Stella, <laughs> I, while we were trying to video the next video, I was on my butt. I couldn't even talk. And then I'm going to put a little tiny bit of triple sec because I usually do that in most. My, my, you know, you're just giving, a little. You're giving the impression that I'm a heavy drinker. <laughs> no, Stella never drinks. That's what was so funny that her, her martini was 100% alcohol and Stella like basically doesn't drink. So that's what was so hysterical about this. So um, anyway, a little triple sec. My girlfriend turned me on to, um, she uses Cointreau and that's really better, but I've got this triple sec to use up, so that's what we're gonna use up. So again, you can do whatever the hell you want because it's your house. And then we're going to sugar the rooms. Now we all know Stella blatantly <laughs> screwed this up a few I, weeks I ago. I willingly give it up. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this now. So we just used a little nectarine I had here. You can use any sort of citrus or whatever you want. Anything that's gonna make the edge of your, your drink your glass wet-ish. Here, hold on one second. And then just twirl it around. I have just a little bit of sugar here that I colored for something forever ago. I just use it, put it back in a little mason jar. Job. Look at that. I'm, I've got a lot of practice. Perfect. Well, you know, it's not all going to be perfect, but at least it's not halfway down the, the thing with, with juice running down. It looked like somebody had regurgitated on it. Stella, come on. Somebody gave me a bad piece of whatever it was. <laughs> sure, never Stella's fault. Okay, so here we are with our, our glasses. Check out Stella's yeah. glass. She she got it to match her outfit today. She brought it with her. How cute is that? And so hold out, it up close so they can see. And, no, it's or, got lips and it's got lipstick. But it came out of my china cabinet filled with all my fancy cute glasses and I didn't wash it. Okay, we, here, we're going to garnish oh, this glass. Know. We're going to garnish this glass. 
Here we go with our little um, nectarine. Look how cute that is. And then we're gonna just shake the hell out of this. So I, I mentioned the sugar. And all I do is I just color the sugar, put it into a um, Ziploc bag, put whatever colors I want. And it takes like literally like a little, little, little drop of food coloring because it goes really far. You'll have really dark thing. And then literally I reuse this. I can't tell you how many times. I just put it in a Ziploc, put I it in a- I can tell how many times because there's a bunch of little stuff. Little stuff, <laughs> little, it gets little chunks, but it, nothing's gonna happen. No one's gonna die. She doesn't know before she came around, I took out the big ones and threw them away. You know what, nobody's died from this, okay? But, and sometimes, you know, I use really cute like sprinkles. I did contact a really cute sprinkle company. Oh. Somebody just walked in, so sorry about that on the video. Um, so anyway, I contacted this really cute uh, sprinkle company yeah. and I told them that they should um, give me some to use for my oh, demo. Yeah. So when they do, I'll let you know. And you okay? can promote them. Yeah, and they even have glitter that you put in your drinks. Oh. It's glitter you can eat and drink. My kind of thing. So yeah, so that we're hoping to get that. If they're smart, they'll send it. Maybe I'll maybe I'll send them this video and tell them they should send it to me. If they're smart. Okay. So anyway, we're gonna shake this up, and their sprinkles are gonna look way cuter than my sprinkles do. So shake it, shake it, shake it, and and we're gonna give this a little taste. I think it's gonna be more than plenty sweet, but if not, we do have some um, peach um, syrup that we could add to it too. Okay. You know those little flavored okay, syrups. Okay. okay, let's see what we think. This is gonna... Oh yeah, it's really, really nice. good. Okay, I think we need more I of like that. Peach. Yeah. There we go. Oh, it's very. Still it's <laughs> this is peachy, huh, Stella? Oh, I have a couple more important things to mention, Stella. On Monday, you're gonna come and we're gonna do Martini Mondays with the Queen. Okay. I don't know what we're gonna talk. Oh, I do know what we're gonna talk about. I'm gonna interview Stella. My friend Anthony is waiting to hear the story about the 22 year old on the cruise <laughs> with Stella. So stay tuned for that Monday. You'll get to hear that that hot little story. And what we're also going to do is we're doing a contest on Monday. One of the companies that has gifted me a product for my eyes that I showed the other day, um, they are giving a free one for us to give away. So I've got the, the thing out there. Stella wouldn't know this because it's on Facebook. She's not. It's on Instagram. She's not. It's out there. The contest is out there, Stella. And I'm going to have you officially pull the name. Okay. So it's Park Perfection Instant Eye Lift, and it's worth $90. So if you haven't done it, go on my Facebook or go on my Instagram. It's really simple. You just have to, depending on which, which form it is, you either have to tag a couple people or you have to subscribe to my blog or whatever. It's very simple. Instant Eye Lift. Instant, it was, you haven't seen the video. No, but I did. I look, I did, okay, here's, working cosmetics. here's what I did, Stella. I put it on just one eye for like three days. That's the best way. And I didn't put it on the other. And I didn't, I didn't know if the people would like me to do this, but I also put it here. And I swear to God, if you watch the video, it, it, it was extremely different. And um, I had to start using it on both eyes because I was starting to look like I had a stroke. I really was. It was like, this side was kind of like perky and the other side was kind of like, oh my God. Yeah, it was, it was bad. So anyway, we're giving away a free one on Monday. And the other thing is I got my nails done today. That's really exciting. I did. I was so excited. I you you don't know what I went to, through to get into the nail salon today when it opened. I called 120 times because it was biz, busy trying to get in yesterday, and I got in. I was so happy. So anyway, so that's our story. So here's to you, everybody. I'm gonna put this down, and we are going to say Happy National Martini Day. We hope next year on National Martini Day we can actually have a big ass party. We are having a few girls over for a little social distancing in the backyard later. But here we are. Happy National happy Martini, Martini Day. Day. There we go. Oh, and I, my, my little clicker is now working. I think, watch this. Watch, Stella. Okay. Watch, it works now. See. Watch, it works. It works, Stella. Sure, there we go. Be careful.